We're going to have a very short video right now. And um, those of us, you know, whether you follow the news or not, I'm sure you've probably heard about the uh, brutal murder of Bangladeshi blogger Avjit Roy. His wife, who is Rafida Ahmed, she has recorded this uh, very short video, uh, just her talking. It's quite moving, and um, we are going to show it now. So, Hi, everyone. My name is Rafida Ahmed Bona, and I would like to thank American Atheists for giving me the chance to talk to all of you today about my personal journey through religious extremism. Though I'm recovering from my injuries, I have managed to write down some of my thoughts that I would like to share with you. My husband, my late husband, Dr. Ovijit Roy, and I are Bangladeshi American citizens, atheists, and software engineers by profession. And we are the recent victims of Islamic terrorism in Bangladesh. Several weeks ago, Avijit and I visited our homeland, Bangladesh, to attend its national book fair. The book fair is held every year in Dhaka during the entire month of February, and thousands of, upon thousands of people attend the book fair every day. It's a historic event where we celebrate the International Mother's Language Day on 21st of February. Attending the book fair was especially important to my husband and me because we are both Bengali writers and bloggers. We wrote about science, rationalism, and humanism. More specifically, my husband wrote against fu religious fundamentalism. We thought that there is already so much written in English and other languages on these topics so our mission was to spread message of science, rationalism, and anti-fundamentalism in Bangladesh in our native language. When I wrote only one book concerning the evolution of life, my husband wrote 10 books about secular topics over the last 12 years. He was a more serious, more prolific writer than I was. He was he has also created the first online platform called Muktamona in 2001 in Bangla. Avijit wrote books about origin of life, how the universe emerged from zero. He wrote books about the science behind homosexuality. He even wrote a very literary piece regarding the relationship between Nobel laureate poet Rabindranath Tagore and the Argentinian feminist writer Victoria Ocampo, but two of his books titled Philosophy of Disbelief and Virus of Faith amassed far greater attention. On one hand, they made him exceedingly popular among the progressive young adults. On the other hand, these books fueled hostility and anger towards Avijit from Islamic fundamentalists. On the 26th of February, when we were leaving the well-lit, crowded book fair to get back to our car, Avijit and I were brutally attacked by Islamic fundamentalists. We were stabbed again and again by machetes on the side of the road. I have four stab wounds around my head. My thumb was also chopped off. I have multiple injuries on both hands and I've gone through surgeries to repair the nerves and the arteries. Yeah, my head was also shaved off to treat the wounds. But my husband wasn't as lucky. He was the true target of the attackers to successfully hacked him to death. Many bystanders at the book fair were so scared that they did not offer us any help. It wasn't until a young photojournalist passed by the scene and rushed us to, us to the hospital where Avijit died. 
Unfortunately, Bangladesh government hasn't said a word about the incident yet. Avijit was a fellow free thinker, my best friend, my husband, and my life partner. He was killed because he wrote about science, rationalism, atheism, and he wrote against religious fundamentalism. His life was ended, my life was turned upside down. As I was preparing this message, I was told that another Bangladeshi blogger was killed, was hacked to death this morning the same way for the same reason. I think you also have someone in the audience, Asif Mohyuddin, who was hacked the same way, but luckily survived. But our story is not entirely unique. Murders like this happen on a daily basis, again and again, all around the world. But Bangladesh was not always like this. This is a relatively new country, which was founded based on secularism. But religious fundament fundamentalism has taken a deep root in our country in last couple of decades, just like many other countries around the world. Countless people have been gruesomely killed for speaking out. We have seen time and time again that words scare fundamentalists, but they can mutilate our bodies. They can try to silence us with whatever weapons they have, but they cannot destroy us because my fellow atheists, our words cannot be killed. Thank you. Uh, so we have with us today, Asif Muhadeen, who will be talking with us about how the freedom of speech means the freedom to offend. He is mentioned in this video we just watched. Um, he too has suffered a brutal attempted murder at the hands of Islamic extremists uh, who would rather have him silenced. He is not silenced, he is right here. He is not silenced. He is alive and he is speaking, and we are honored to have him today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Move my Good morning, American Atheist. Uh, thank you so much for the opportunity to give me the chance to come here and speak with you. And I'm very glad to see all of all the atheists here, all the secularist, atheist, humanist. Uh, th th this is my first time that I saw so many atheists together. Uh, so it, it is very good experience for me. And uh, I would like to, to thank you, David Silverman. Uh, we met in um, uh, Oxford uh, in the British Humanist Congress, and he invited me here and. I said, oh, that, that would be great. Um, many atheists, I always wanted to see the atheists uh, from the America, how they, uh, how they fight with the Christians. I, I would like to know that. So the, this is my great opportunity to, to come here and speak about uh, my experience. <clears throat> I'm not a very good speaker. I can write blogs uh, every day, but uh, as a speaker, I'm very bad. So I write, wrote something in my mobile. I will speak uh, from my mobile. <clears throat> uh, I know that uh, uh, American atheists, uh, they, uh, they, they were debating with uh, American Christians, American Jews, and American Muslims. But uh, for me, I, uh, all my life, uh, I, I was fighting with Islamic fundamentalism, especially Islamic fundamentalism not with other religion, not with other uh, cultures. Uh, I know it is very difficult uh, in USA to become an atheist. Uh, even in 2015, uh, uh, to not believe in God. But for me, uh, it is, for, for Bangladesh, it is very, very much worst. Uh, you cannot imagine how worst it is in many of the Muslim countries, like Bangladesh, Pakistan, Afghanistan, 
A few days ago, I met a, uh, an atheist from Afghanistan, and uh, he had the same experience like me. Maybe you uh, will, uh, you, uh, for uh, American atheists, they will have uh, problems in, the, in your families. They will uh, throw you out, or they will cut, your, or cut the relationship with you. But for us, it was, uh, it was not very good experience. <clears throat> I have seen um, so many dead bodies in my life. Uh, so many uh, friends, they died. Their head was, uh, I saw the head and I saw the body. Uh, they were not together. And I wanted to show you some pictures of uh, the killings, but I think that uh, those pictures were very much violent. You cannot, uh, after, after, the, after the speech, if you want to see those pictures, you can come to me. I can show you the, some, some of the pictures, how they killed those people. My fellow bloggers, my fellow atheists, my fellow writers. Uh, and uh, as uh, Bonna Ahmed said, that Bangladesh was not uh, so much Islamic country before. Bangladesh was liberated as a secular country. But uh, last 25 years uh, from the, <coughs> uh, the Saudi government and the Middle Eastern country, they are financing lots of madrasas in Bangladesh. And I call the madrasas the uh, production house of terrorist, production house of fundamentalist. Madrasa is the Islamic education uh, system in Bangladesh and in India and Pakistan. They produce uh, millions of fanatics every year. So uh, I and with ma many fellow uh, bloggers started writing against um, the madrasa education system, especially the madrasa education system, and they become very angry with us. and. Uh, because, because it, it was their existence, their uh, question of their existence, if it is a big business in uh, Bangladesh and uh, uh, it is a big, big political issue in Bangladesh uh, uh, th that madrasa education system should be reformed or um, there should be the, the madrasas should be destroyed. I always say that madrasa should not be uh, run uh, because those um, madrasa education system is the worst education system ever. I was uh, uh, attacked in 2013, and uh, they said that uh, they uh, came from my behind and they attacked me and stabbed me with machete, and I, I survived in that attack. Uh, you can see that attack. Uh, that was my back. Uh, they attacked me several times, and uh, is that okay? So but that was my back, and I still I cannot move my neck. I have problems moving my neck. And uh, after that attack, I was in prison for three and a half months for uh, writing against Islam, uh, writing uh, criti criticizing against, uh, criticizing of Islam, and. Uh, I had, uh, um, when I was in prison, I had a uh, lot of psychological problems as well. Uh, I was, uh, I still I'm very afraid of unknown people. I cannot believe, I cannot trust unknown people. When I see some unknown people, uh, I become very afraid. Because uh, after the attack, when I was in hospital, they came to me uh, with the poison, uh, to inject me the poison as a, uh, like a doctor, they, they were dressed up as a doctor and they came to kill me in the hospital also. But uh, that time thousands of other bloggers uh, or se uh, and secular activists, they were in hospital and they saved me. And many other people saved me uh, from being killed. I know this event is uh, for socializing and having fun, but I would like to talk about these serious issues, uh, the Islamization uh, in many, uh, many countries, especially in Bangladesh, Pakistan, Afghanistan, these countries. You don't have that experience to live in a constant fear that some people will come to your home and drag, drag you to the street and execute you publicly. Uh, they published my name uh, in the newspapers and in the, uh, my face, uh, my picture was in the streets uh, as a poster and they labeled me as the number one enemy of Islam. And uh, the highest religious leader in Bangladesh, Allama Shafi, he said that uh, Asif Mohyuddin uh, should be um, executed in public. That is uh, his uh, punishment for uh, 
being an atheist and criticizing Islam and Muhammad. So uh, in 2013, uh, I was attacked and I still have so many bad dreams about that attack. Um, that some, and uh, I always dream about one, uh, one uh, incident that some mullahs is coming to my home and dragging me to the streets and cutting my head in front of uh, many people. And the Islamic people, they are cheering up, uh, watching those execution, watching my execution. And I have seen some moderate Islamists, they came and told me that is not true Islam, that is wrong interpretation of Islam. And I asked them, uh, what about the Asma Binte Marwan uh, and what about the Abu Afaq who criticized Muhammad during Muhammad's time and what Muhammad did with them? Muhammad ordered to slaughter them and they were slaughtered at night. So Muhammad, um, uh, how, what moderate said that I asked moderate Muslims, moderate Islamists, that more, so moder Muhammad was not a good Muslim. Uh, what do you think? Muhammad was not a good Muslim? Uh, I'm, uh, I started this uh, kind of writings and debate, uh, this is 18 years I'm uh, doing this. I'm not very old, I'm 31, and uh, when I was 13 years old, I started doing these kind of things. Uh, and 89% of the population uh, in Bangladesh are Muslim. Uh, Bangladesh. Uh, so uh, uh, I started blogging in 2005, and uh, uh, that time Abhijit Choi and me, and we had only four or five atheist or secularist bloggers, and we started that thing. But now uh, you cannot imagine how many we are, are we. We are like 15 to 20,000 people who are secularist and um, uh, humanist, atheist, non-believer. Non that is our huge success. And I need, to tell, I need to tell you one story. <laughs> I should tell you one story that uh, when I become an atheist, I was 13 years old, and I, uh, I was really very confused about religion, and I had some many questions. And I started asking questions to my mother, and my mother said, no, 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 never, never ask question to anyone. This, these are religious questions. You cannot question. You have to believe those things. But I, um, I had so many doubts, I have so many questions, so I started reading Bible and Quran, Quran and Bible, first Quran and Hadith, then I read Bible and Gita, and then uh, I become an atheist. <laughs> so, yeah, I always say that uh, uh, people ask me uh, how you become an atheist. I always uh, tell them that you have to read Quran, then you will be an atheist. Uh, <laughs> And if you are not, uh, no, if you not become an atheist, you will be a fundamentalist. Uh, that, that is the two way, uh, no other way. So my mother told me that, uh, no, never ask these questions again. And uh, I was thrown out of my home. I was beaten very badly uh, because I told her that I don't believe in Muhammad or Allah. These, these are stupid stories. And uh, I, I ask questions about Abraham and uh, Muhammad, about Noah, about Moses. And after three years, uh, my mother, one day my mother told me that she was also an atheist. <laughs> but she was living in an Islamic culture, Islamic family, and she was a, she was a housewife. She cannot uh, discuss these things with anyone. So after a long time, she found me, and she started discussing these things with me, and she was very happy that time, that now she can discuss. Uh, she had so many questions in her life, but she never uh, spoke these things to anyone. And it feels very good when you can uh, speak with your belief, you, what you believe or what you don't, do not believe. When you speak with someone, it feels very good. And my mother was very happy that time. And I, now I think my mother died in 2008, now I think she was a feminist also. Uh, in 2013, uh, government, Bangladesh government banned my blog. My blog was one of the most popular blog in Bangladesh, in Bangla blog community. 
but it is it is very hard to become a popular blogger and as as the same time an atheist people will not read uh, your blogs or your books or your articles if you are an atheist but my blog was very much popular but in 2013 bangladesh government banned my blog and uh, now they deleted everything from my blog because of uh, my they said my blog was very blasphemous blasphemous blog and what was so blasphemous uh, about my blog what did i wrote in my blog i wrote uh, one article about anal hawk that means uh, i am allah that uh, that is a, uh, there was a sufi philosopher in um, 800 uh, century and he wrote that anal hawk everyone is allah god is in everyone there is no god in the sky you don't have to search god in the sky or uh, heaven there is no heaven and hell everyone is god every person human being is god so i wrote that article in uh, to explain uh, what what is the meaning of anal hawk what is i am god uh, the, every human being is god and that was one of the um, accusation against me uh, that i de declared myself as allah that is so much blasphemy uh, but for me i don't see anything offensive in that uh, in that article and the other uh, blogs uh, what i wrote in my bl uh, blog that one of the, uh, them was uh, i uh, suggested the bangladesh government to um, made make uh, public toilets for women not make masjid or mosque or uh, religious uh, things because the uh, bangladesh is a secular country i wrote to the government that bangladesh is a secular country they should uh, spend money for the for the uh, for the citizen they should not spend money for the gods or they should not do something so that they can go to uh, go to heaven and have virgins those things are stupid uh, government should not do that and government should not uh, have the um, uh, government should should not uh, make the way to go to heaven if government want to go make the way to heaven then they should kill every citizen then they will go to heaven and those things i wrote in my blog and that that was a uh, number two accusation against me and i wrote about uh, lgbt rights and uh, police uh, asked me when they interrogated me they asked me why you are trying to convert bangladesh to a gay country and i said uh, if i write a blog about lgbt rights so bangladesh will be a gay country do you think really think so and they said yes they will be uh, they will try to do that people will try to do that if you write something like this so police were, uh, i was in the in the interrogation of police with police uh, for 8 days and they asked me many stupid questions but after 8 days uh, four of them become an atheist <laughs> yeah that was uh, my huge success and then after after that i uh, they sent me to the prison and i uh, the jail super they um, came to see me and i was uh, talking to him also about atheism about islam about christianity about hinduism and after a few days uh, one of the jail super <coughs> he also told me oh uh, i now i have some confusion then he sent me uh, i <coughs> i was in prison for uh, three and a half months and uh, three and a half months i get very good foods in prison <laughs> uh, when i was child i was thrown out of my home for uh, many times i was beaten in my school i asked questions to my teachers about uh, what i will get in the heaven if i uh, if i believe in islam what i will get what what is your offer and he said uh, yeah okay you will get 72 virgins and a lot of wines so i said <coughs> okay i want to uh, have it now uh, as a sample and i want i want to have some samples then i will decide that okay i will <laughs> do that then they were uh, my teacher they were very angry with me and they started beating me again and again and i i got f grade in many many subjects especially islamic uh, subject i got f grade uh, every time i got f f grade they never passed me in islam 
Islam is one of the subject in, Bang in Bangladeshi um, education system. So we have to pass Islam, otherwise they will not get the uh, certificate. So uh, uh, in 2013, I, I was on the hit list. Uh, actually, uh, not in 2013. I am uh, on the hit list from uh, 2007. In 2007, I started uh, speaking against Islam. I, um, I joined in many debate, and I never uh, tried to win the debate, but I tried to continue the debate with uh, as long as, kind, as, as uh, I can do. Because I think that winning is not will, winning will not change everything. I, I can I will be very proud if I can win, but they will not change their mind. I always want to share. I, I always want to talk to them. So in uh, 2007, I was in the hit list for the first time, and I was that time I was very afraid, and I thought, oh, I should stop these things, otherwise I will be killed. But later I thought that, okay, uh, let's do it. I can. I have to. Uh, tell what I think, otherwise I will die uh, uh, anyway. So it is better to tell uh, what I think, what uh, inside of my mind, um, then uh, I, I will be dead in f for 40 years or 50 years. So what I will do in for, for, uh, if I cannot tell anything for 40, 50 years, that is not living. Uh, so I have to tell ev everyone what I'm thinking. <laughs> So they uh, started trying to kidnap me several times, and they came with a white mi microbus, and they trying to take me inside, and I survived. And I survived many times, actually. Uh, but in 2013, th uh, that attack, that attack was very brutal. And uh, I, I'm very thankful to my friends, my families, uh, to save me that night. Uh, they gave me blood. And the interesting thing is many uh, Muslim friends, they are very uh, religious Muslim, they were praying for me that night. That was, uh, for me, that was a very good thing uh, to have, that uh, I think not uh, all Muslims, um, many people said that uh, Muslim uh, religious fanatics, they are bad, but some people are, uh, those people are not actually bad people, their ideas are bad. When I was in prison, I met my attackers. My attackers, three of them, they, told, uh, they were uh, in the same cell, and they, one day they said, told me, oh, hi, Asif, how are you? And I said, uh, who are you? I don't know you. And they said, and I, I, uh, then I, I recognized them. Oh, OK, you are the three. OK, come, and we, let's have a talk. And then they came to me, and I started talking to them. I was very easy. Uh, I didn't uh, say anything about Islam or Muhammad. Uh, they told me, they, in the beginning, they told me, uh, we can talk to you, but you cannot say anything about atheism. Uh, otherwise, uh, we will be offended. I said, OK, no problem. Let's have uh, some uh, talk about. Uh, then I uh, asked them, why did you uh, try, trying to, try to kill me? Uh, you should have come from my uh, from uh, uh, in front, not from the behind. That is the that is not the Islamic uh, tradition. Islamic tradition is come from be, uh, in front and cut the head. And uh, then I said, "Oh, you are not a true good Muslim. You should <laughs> you should consider yourself to come from come from uh, in front and they, uh, then cut my head. Uh, so you did a bad thing. You will not get your virgins in heaven. <laughs> and they said, oh, they were a little bit confused. Then they said, oh, no, no, no. Behind, from behind it is OK. I said, no, it is not OK. You should read hadith that you have to come from uh, uh, in front. And they, they were really very confused. And then I asked them that, what you will get uh, uh, killing me? Uh, they said, uh, I asked them that, do you want to save Allah from me? Uh, do you think I am more powerful than him? Then I talked to them for 30 minutes, and I offered them for some food. And I realized that um, they are not criminals. They are, uh, for, uh, it is my feeling that they are not criminals. They are very innocent people. Their ideas is crim idea is criminal. There is 
They are uh, just brainwashed people. One of them, uh, the youngest one, was 21 years old, and I I felt that he was very good person. As a good, per he was uh, he was a good person who follow his ideology, and it is very good thing uh, that if if you are a, um, any kind of ideology you believe. It is a very good thing if you follow that ideology. If you are a Democrat, if you are a liberal, if you are, a, uh, if you are an atheist, it is very good. If you are a humanist, it is good to follow the humanist uh, uh, philosophy, humanist ideology. Uh, and they are also, in that sense, they are also very good people. In Islamic uh, ideology, they are very good. But Islamic ideology is bad, so they are bad. Uh, we cannot do anything about them. We should do, we should offend their religion, not offend them, but offend their religion again and again. And we should, and I, uh, I, I'm doing this for 80, 17, or, 17 or 18 years now. I saw that the tolerance level of uh, religious fundamentalist, it grows day by day. When I, first time I saw that, I told them that I'm an atheist, they become very angry with me. Oh, you cannot be an atheist, we will kill you. Now I criticize Muhammad each and every day, and they said, okay, fine, it's okay. So their tolerance level is growing. And we should, uh, we should continue this thing again and again for, for a long time, um, to continue this debate about Muhammad, about Islam, about Allah, what Allah did. Uh, Allah is not uh, a good God. We should continue this debate, and their tolerance level will increase day by day. But we, if we uh, say that, okay, let's do not offend them, they are also very good people. Yes, they are very good people. Many of them are very good people. We, if we stop offending them, then they will uh, stand in that, uh, that, that position and they will never change. They will never change anything. Their ideology will never change. So for us, uh, it is very important to offend them again and again, uh, as I think. So, and um, about, uh, in 2013, they uh, published a hit list of 84 bloggers and my name was on the top of that. And Obhijit Roy was there also, and um, six days ago, Washikur Babu, another blogger, died. They both were a um, very good friend of mine. Obhijit Roy was my, like, my best friend. He, was my, he started muktomona.com, and that was the pioneer blog for free thinkers in Bangladesh. And Washikur Babu, he was, my, he was like my younger brother. And uh, in 2013, another blogger died. His name was uh, Rajiv Haidar. Uh, they also cut his head and um, put his head uh, in front of his home and his body in the other place. So um, in 2004, another uh, intellectual died in Bangladesh. His name was Obhijit Choi. And maybe you heard the name of Taslima Nasrin. She, is, uh, she cannot live in Bangladesh. She is now living in Delhi. So, uh, what we can do, we can do, I, I, I'm a very powerless person, I'm not a very uh, important person for, for Bangladeshi politics, I'm just a blogger, so I use my power in blogging. And uh, I think everyone uh, here, some of you have power, some of you can create some pressure on Bangladesh government, or create some pressure on uh, Middle Eastern countries so that they um, uh, stop sponsoring the madrasas. If you have this kind of chance, you should do it. Uh, otherwise, uh, th this religious fundamentalism, it is a cancer for humanity. It will destroy all humanity. Thank you so much. Um, I'm sorry, but I'm going to say it publicly. You are wrong. You are not a bad speaker. You absolutely do have power. What you say is important and essential, and we are honored to have, have you here. You are not a bad speaker. You are wrong. 
Okay.